occasion, this is something you well deserve. Marion and I wish we could be there to help you and your friends celebrate. It is hard to believe that we have been friends for over 60 years. The other thing that is amazing is that you are one of the few persons who have been able to spend 80 years involved with the same activity. Someone ought to check with the Guinness Book to see if that is in some sort of record. Marilyn and Marion. This is from Tim Mariner, who, uh, by the way, presented Al with the latest award that he got, the gold card. He, came, he made a special trip all the way down to Miami to present it to Al recently. And uh, he says, hi, Jack. Sure wish I could be there for the event. I'm sure he will love the party. Dear Al, it is an honor to be able to call you a friend and colleague. Your leadership and skills encouraged hundreds of others to walk in your path of entertaining thousands of dancers around the world. You will always be one of the top mentors of our, acti of our activity. So on this day of celebration, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you so much. Best regards, Tim Mariner. Here is a, another long one, which I'm going to read uh, in full. This is from Jim Mayo, um, who is writing this, and this one, our age club, started by his mother in the 1930s. By the time I first met him in 1950, he was one of New England's best known callers, both locally and across the nation. Al was the one who led New England into modern square dancing just as it began. He attended Pappy Shaw's Summer Institute in 1949 and returned home to start classes and clubs to dance in a new way. I first danced to Al at his Saturday night traditional dances in his country barn in Stepney, Connecticut. The Pioneers Trio Orchestra played great music and the dances were very much the same every Saturday. The crowds filled the hall that Al had built with the help of friends. He started teaching callers about the same time at a once a month Sunday class. Even though Ralph Page had coaxed me through my first calling experience, it was Al who helped me become a caller. He was a leader in every way and shared his knowledge and experience with many who would become leading callers. I should know enough now to stand in front of a speaker with an open microphone. Anyway, we thank you all, really, and I thank uh, Jack and Eileen Lewis for uh, putting uh, this together, starting it, and inviting people. And I am so pleased that you've all come. Uh, my breathing is off, but so I won't make a very long talk at all, not at all. Uh, he, uh, I, I uh, appreciate your, your uh, sticking with square dancing. It's it's the greatest thing, and people, some people come up and say, "Why, why? What's my secret of looking young?" And that is thinking square dancing, dancing square dancing, and trying to promote square dancing in every way. And that'll do it to you. So keep at it, and thanks again for coming. I'm Shelby Newhouse. If you can hear me over the enthusiastic response of this crowd behind me, because they're having a wonderful time. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second day here in the Cobra Hall Arena of the National Square Dance Convention being held here in Detroit. The folks have taken over the towns, so many thousands of them. And I'm sure if you've seen them in downtown Detroit, perhaps in other parts of the city sightseeing, they're easily recognized, the badge being the colorful square dance costumes they have on. We'll show you a great deal about square dancing and the different types of dancing in the next half hour. And there are square dance callers, the best in the business, here from all over the country. And right now, a square dance demonstration. The caller, Al Brundage of Westport, Connecticut. And here they go, Al Brundage calling. Now couples one and three, you leap to the right and circle four at a time. Let's make a line, go forward, eight and back with you. Then right and left, two and turn the girl. Two ladies chain, turn them twice around and form. New lines again, go forward, eight and back and then. Hey, right and left, on two, turn and do to do that corner girl. Come back and promenade me home to Kansas City, cause it's our hometown. And one and three, you lead out to the right circle of four and time. Say you got a line. Go up 
and back with you. Right, left, down to and turn. Same two ladies chain. Turn twice around then. New lines again to go for a and back with you. And right, left, down to then turn and do so that corner girl. And come back and promenade me. Back to Indianapolis in my hometown. Two and four, leave right out to the right. dancers of Massachusetts. Thanks, Alice. This is Al Brundage at my left. You may recall he called the first square dance opening the show this evening. And Al hails from quite close to Massachusetts. That's right, Westport, yeah. Connecticut. Right down Tell the us. coast. There's something about the next dance, which is a round dance. That's right, uh, Shelby. The round dance, of course, is a companion piece to square dancing. And the one that's going to be done is a, a waltz, a Neapolitan waltz. These round dances are are definitely part of the Square Dance Club picture, and they're danced just in every uh, city and town where square dancing is. There is no caller on this. Oh, no, there's no caller. These are routines put to a particular piece of music, and uh, the dancers learn the routines and, and then dance them. And this means that we will see folks from all over the country dancing who haven't necessarily danced together before. Oh, that's very definitely. These people have never danced together before. This is purely extemporaneous as far as they're getting together and dancing uh -huh. is concerned. Well, here we go, then, with a round dance. And this is a waltz, Neapolitan waltz. Neapolitan waltz. No caller. No caller. Watch this. 